Thank you for your interest in how Kennard gets their energy. Here's Josh with more information. Thanks for your interest in Kennard's energy resources. Two of these are wind and geothermal. Our wind power is found from a wind plant in Wyoming and is used to supply all of our electricity. Geothermal is used to provide us with heating and cooling. Kennard is one of the few schools in the nation to have a geothermal system. Here's Emily to talk more about it. Well, the temperature down 300 feet into the earth is right around room temperature. And how does that cause it to be cooler or hotter in the building? Here in our playground, we have 100, 300 foot deep wells where the waters pump through pipes down into the bottom of the wells and then pump back into our building and fans blow on it and they blow the air in the hot or cool air into the building, thus heating and cooling the building. In winter, when it's colder outside, it seems warmer in the building. But when it's hot outside in the summer, it seems cooler in the building. Hi, I'm Julian and right now I'm in the heart of our geothermal system. Emily before talked about the wells in our school, in our backyard, but right now this is the heart, literally. This is where all the water gets pumped into the ground and back up into our school to provide the heating and cooling. So when this pump turns on, water from the heated water from this pipe gets pumped into our school and the heat gets released to heat and cool our school. The, le the water that gets cooled down needs to get reheated and goes down into this pump, back to the earth, down below to heat it back up. As you can see up here on the thermometer, the heat, the temperature is about 60 degrees. It's not too hot and not too cold. It's just perfect to have a comfortable environment at school. I'm behind the lockers at Kennard and here is where our geothermal journey ends. In these pipes, there's heated water that gets transferred into heated air in this furnace and it goes through these pipes into classrooms as heated air and when the, wa and when the temperature in the water is removed, it goes back into the earth uh, to get reheated. Imagine stripping Kennard Middle School from all of its bricks and its sidings. Do you know what you will find? Insulation here at Kennard, we have about three inches of yellow sand foam surrounding the building in a neat puffy matter. This extra layer of foam helps keep the cold outside of our building and the heat inside of our building. I hope you had fun on your interactive tour of Kennard. Where do you want to go now? <laughs>